It's time for reinforcements. Yo, we just got a crazy ass introduction to the killer guy. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. This, this is gonna be feels. Feels that this, this is the mom life after Satoru, huh? Ah. Uh, sexy mama. Wow. Oh. Satoru mentioned something he wants about the train. But remember, you don't have to change trains to get to Ueno. He was right. But why did he point that out to me? Wow. She got the photo. Holy shit. Good morning, kiddo. Sleep well? He's still... He's still alive?! He's in great shape. Her son has been in a coma for 15 years. A coma for 15 years?! Wow. Talking already. It won't be long before you can start physical therapy. I heard that for the past 15 years, Mom spent four hours a day giving every joint in my body a workout. About three years ago, she got one of those EMS monitor thingies to let her know when I was conscious again. She got another thing to stimulate my muscles. When I was in fifth grade, I stood about four and a half feet tall. I'm five foot five now. Dr. Kitamura said, if it wasn't for my mom, I wouldn't be in as good a shape as I am. Wow. I think you're ready for it. Try to answer my next question. What's the last oh. thing you remember? Before you lost consciousness, that is. Okay. I remember I was... Can he... Locked behind wow. That's you. Well, aren't you surprised? Your face has changed a lot. The last time you saw it, you were eleven. Well, I guess since your memories are scrambled, it'll take a while before this all sinks in. It's just a matter of time. That day I thought maybe the doc was right. I should have felt weird waking up this time. But I didn't. But the thing is, I should have. Patience, heartbeat monitor, sense of loss, arbitration. I knew those words. When did I learn them? When did oh. it happen to me? Damn, it, Good morning, he, <sighs> he still has that childlike mentality. It's a Is that Kyo? Congratulations. Kyo, whatever. I, I probably keep saying her name wrong and I'm so sorry. My guy lost. He lost his life, man.
Wow. Yeah, my guy. Hey, kiddo. You have a good workout today? Uh-huh. Kyle came by a little while ago. Hmm. I bumped into her outside. She's got the cutest <laughs> baby. Listen, Mom. What's up? Not those assholes again. What? Paparazzi from the gossip rag looking for a story. Waking up after 15 years made you a celebrity. Oh, true. Grew up. Anyway, you want to tell me something? No. I mean, it is a fascinating Man. story. Um, who is he talking to? There you go, my boy. Fight through it. <laughs> I wonder who that kid is. Can you stop by for a little visit? Hi, Kenya. I hope it's okay to stop by. Are you kidding? Of course it is. Hello, Satoru. Have we met before? Matter of fact, we have. Your mom and I used to work together back before you started elementary school. Yeah, I, uh, okay, on, I remember him. Fucking teachers to murder. I got married five years ago and took on my wife's oh. family. Oh, uh, my father in law was a city council member for a long time, but he passed away three years ago. I joined the council and took over his constituency. I kept the kanji for my given name, but I use the more common meaning now. Wow, a real life politician, just a lowly council member. Yeah, well, still, I get the feeling you'd be super awesome at politics, Mr. Yashiro. <laughs> anyway, I met Kumi and her parents at a charity event for kids with leukemia. I know the director of this hospital, so I pulled some strings and got her in. That's nice of you. I heard you came too, yeah, I have to finish the job. Wow. I bet. I wonder if he's playing dumb if he already remembers. Because how does he... How does he know how to draw so well if he doesn't already have that skill back? And the fact that he says he wanted to double his physical therapy makes me feel like he 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 knows. He's just getting ready. Hello, Mr. Yashiro. Were you on your way to see Kumi? Yeah, her surgery's coming up. The nurse said today's the last day she can have visitors. True. I just left her room. She was asleep, so unfortunately I couldn't talk to her. Well, that sucks. Guess I'll try seeing her later then. Here, can I talk to you? Sure, but let's go someplace we can have some privacy away from these reporters. Don't worry, I know the perfect 
Uh, you know the perfect spot, huh? Okay, here we are. Have it. Hold on this elevator. Feels like we're going on an adventure, huh? He's wearing gloves! No! Fuck! No! Would you push the button for the Push the button? Oh. Well, there's gotta be cameras. Oh, he's doing the little ticket 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 thing. Too bad. The sunset would have been amazing if it weren't raining. At least we won't be bothered by any paparazzi up here. But the roof's off limits, so don't tell on me, okay? It's funny. Being up here reminds me of how you, Kenya, and Hiromi always talked about going to your hideout after school. Yes, you know. I remember everything. Oh. How do you end the episode like that? How do you end the episode like that? Um, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that, uh, Mr. Satudo there, Sat Satudo, whatever freaking name is, he was faking it, or not faking it, but he was keeping it to himself, not telling his mom, his friends, or whatever, that he's, his, all his memories has returned. I almost want to believe that I don't want to say he's completely cured from uh, his physical therapy, but I think he's he has enough to be able to fight back, or maybe, I don't know, has a hidden knife. Like, he's been waiting for this just as much. It was nice to see um, Kayo. Hopefully I said her name. Hiccups. Hopefully I said her name right. And also because his friend Kenya, right? He's a lawyer, right? And then the mom's friend of being a reporter and all that's good stuff. I feel like all the pieces are lining up for the teacher to finally get caught um so yeah i think i think it's all working out now the only thing that i feel like doesn't make any sense or maybe it does or maybe it doesn't why didn't the teacher continue uh on his his thread why did he stop was he just completely fulfilled for for doing what he did um to uh to um to saturo and Maybe it's just like that elongated kill, you know? We, we saw that in the previous episode, or was it in today's episode? Shit, now I can't remember. I think it was in today's episode with the whole hamster thing, right? Or was that the last episode? Fuck, I can't remember now. I feel stupid. Um, we got to see the mindset of, of the teacher, right? How he had a whole bunch of hamsters, and he freaking drowned them all, and and one of them survived. And, and, and honestly, that that followed his method of, of killing the kids. Pretty much like froze them to death, you know, and he had a weird method to, to his destruction. And I feel like he, he did that to Satoru, but even though he didn't die, he's like, ah, oh, he's still waiting for that day to be like, yo, I want you to come back, you know, and then, then I'll do the deed. Or, or, uh, because the last thing that Satoru said was, hey, I know your future. Uh, meaning that maybe the teacher's like, yo, I, I want to know. Tell me about my future. I, wa I want to know before I kill you. <laughs> I don't know. There's only one more episode, so let's see how it happens. So, all right, that about wraps up my video. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.